Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CHK. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I'll let you this time frame think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Been doing this analysis on a pretty routine basis. I uh, did it last week a couple of times, so that's where that green line up there is coming from. But that is also where the first update is gonna come about. And this update is based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So for those of you that did watch the video from last week, Hopefully you remember me talking about 505 as support, but now that the price has clearly broken below it, that would be that key level of resistance to keep an eye on. But even actually more so shorter term, it seems as though that there's been a little level of resistance that has formed right here at uh, 495. So 495, actually that first hurdle, if 495 can be cleared, then yeah, you can start to talk about doing battle with a 505 mark. So resistance wise, again, 495, very near term one, and then after that, right up there at 505. What about levels of support? Well, in order to talk about this, let's scrunch up the chart here a little bit. In the event this level or this current little miniature bounce rolls back over, next key level of support to keep an eye on would be down there at $4.80. What do I mean by that? Well, just keep in mind where this green line is coming from, 480, and we'll zoom back in. But yeah, to give credit where credit's due, the bulls have actually started to, to form a little bit of a bounce here. And we'll just highlight the bounce via this tread line right here. But like I said, in the event this tread line is broken, um, you know, by no means is this some sort of gutsy call on my part or anything like that. But yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see with a, a, a tread line break to the downside, the price to then drift down to at least 480. And uh, you know, that would be a pretty interesting battleground area because there's a, a lot of history is that acting as support. Uh, so, you know, but kind of pointless to talk about 480 as long as you know the, the, the price is above that orange line. But again, with a break down below orange line, uh, 480, in my opinion at least, is probably gonna be right around the corner. So we'll see what happens with this one today. Whole lot of volume, a lot of eyeballs will be on this tomorrow. So yeah, let's see how this continues to play out. The week is young, still four days left. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.